My name is Peter Santanello, and I make videos around the world. But for the first time, I'm showing my home country, America. In this video series, my Ukrainian wife and I travel through Northern California to places most foreigners and even Americans don't know about. We will show you USA culture through the combination of an outsider's and a local's perspective. Join us on a road trip through a very diverse, often misunderstood, and stunningly beautiful land. It's really cool when you come back to your country after being gone for a long time. As you can see guys, super beautiful drive down the Highway 1, south of San Francisco. This is Big Sur. Big Sur is a park, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And we're going down to Pfeiffer Beach. How you doing? Good. Good. You going to the beach? Yes. Have you been there before? Yes. Welcome back. It is $12 cash only today. Just wait one sec. We do have to put up the car. Okay. Is it busy down there? Yep, every day. Every day, every man, day. huh? <laughs> what much. about November? Probably a little bit better. I haven't been here in November, so oh, okay. I've okay. just been here since May, and it's been busy every day. Except for like one or two days. Even in the summer fog. Even in the summer fog. <laughs> when it was raining yesterday morning, people just still coming in hordes and staying on the beach. I hate to be that old dude and be like, I remember when, but... Right. 15 years ago, we come here in November, nobody here. Yeah. Nobody. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Take yeah. care. You too. U.S. parks are super restricted. There's a good and bad in that, I would say. Right? Like, they're pretty yeah. clean. And I don't know. There are a lot of people staying on the path, on the trail. Yeah, if you want to rip into it, if you want to get into it, you can. It's pretty easy. But a popular place like this, they really like buckle it down pretty hard. $12 parking. That's a little crazy, huh? Yeah. beach is totally windswept except for this little nook here and sort of the story of life right you you go where everyone goes the herd goes like 95 percent to the immediate zone and you just got to walk 10 minutes further and we got some calm here babe yeah? yeah it's like okay it's not brutal and that's the view I feel like a beach day. Little granola breakfast action here with Big Sur. We're going south today. We're going all the way to the south side of the park. And the park is 300 miles north of Los Angeles and 150 miles south of San Francisco. It's protected, there's no cell phone coverage, there's no internet, and it's quite wild. The mountains just fall right into the ocean. California is definitely a good place if you want to be healthy. Eat healthy, because the grocery stores are fantastic. The ones, let's say in the nicer places, everything's grown near here. I think these peaches are near here. Definitely the strawberries. Bananas now. It's Guatemala. No, I'm, I'm already 
traditional from Ukraine. Oh, it's my nice. first time in the oh States. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> welcome. You like this one? Yeah, beautiful. It's a shame we cannot go down there. But yeah, a lot of protected beaches here. So, and there are only a few you can go to in Big Sur. So this Highway 1 cuts right into the mountain. So there's, all, there's a lot of erosion coming from above where it gets steep and then landslides and the, the soil and dirt goes across the road. And it seems to me there's a constant process of this stuff going on where they're expanding the road, moving the slides. Some areas they have this where they've built a bridge over the road where the landslide just, well, goes right over the road and into the ocean. So this road, Nascimento Ferguson Road, one of my favorites, goes right up the side of this mountain. I think it goes up 3,000 feet. This is an area where you can see um, that the fog creeps in and there's more moisture. And then there you see it again out to the bald hillside, hillside where there's not much fog. On these south facing hillsides, you can see yucca plants and it's very dry. Right now it's pretty hot, a lot of sun exposure. Other side of the valley that's north facing is a full on forest and you could be sitting there right now. You could be in those trees and freezing cold or on this side and be super warm. Uh, that's the cool part. That's a really cool component to Big Sur. Just all these different climatic zones, different variation here. And again, when the uh, the fog comes in, usually it creeps into these veins first. So the very bottom there is very fertile, very green, very lush. But up here, as you can see, not the case. Going up to our hotel, south side of Big Sur, and we got a little cabin. There's not much, there's really not much here as far as accommodations go. It's pretty spendy too, but it's beautiful. And if you don't want to camp, then you got to do it. I think that's our little cabin right there, babe. Oh. This little guy. Cool. I think so. Little, it's called Little Something. Does it have a name on it? This is the place. Look at that. Just this tiny cabin. There's even a coffin right there, oh my god. But look at this little zone. Very cute. Yeah. Very nice. I like the south side of Big Sur better. It's got a little more wildness to it. It's a little more spread out. And I think other than the one beach on the north, there are better beaches down here. So let's go do this, babe. Let's yeah. get out there. The coast is usually pretty cool because the water's cool. Dolphins, babe. Yeah. In the wave, look at, look at in the wave. <laughs> what just happened? Dolphins on the wave, surfing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> She's losing her mind. You like it? Yeah, look. You can body surf. Yeah. Let's body surf. Sand Dollar Beach, Big Sur. Right. How was it? <laughs> it's so refreshing. So cold. Not tropical more. But it's wild. There are pelicans flying over there. There are dolphins in these waves. California condors over these hills.
what I do <laughs> right now. Oh. Why aren't you swimming, Peter? I did, it's freezing. I'm frozen. I'm done with the water. It's gotten a little chilly, but look at this time lapse. Look at this. Obsessed with time lapses. For many years, I came down here once a year, and would just set up a tent and ride my bike up and down this coast. There's an energy, there's a power, there's obviously a beauty. And then the hawks would fly beside me. They would fly beside me on my bike. So it's always been a special place to come back to. I think it's important. I think it's super important to have those places, like a few of those places in nature you can go to no matter what's going on in life to regroup reground take a loved one or if you're having a tough time like just be able to go to it and find some something special in it some connectivity so that's big sir to me smell huh yeah they stink i am more scared of this stuff than bears cougars serial killers there's a lot of stuff like this you want to go in they blindfold people right and then you have a bat and you just start it's like who can bash the thing and then all this candy comes out quite a drive today <laughs> 